What's up everybody? Anthony here with another episode of McGee's Garage. Bit of a different one, but kind of the same video this week. I've noticed that in many of my videos, view videos seem to do well. And today, what we're reviewing is, of course, the tried and true classic. A five gallon bucket, which by the way is very light. And the new school Yeti bucket. Now, I paid for these buckets with my own money. Actually, no, that's a lie. My dad bought this. I'm not sponsored by Yeti. I wish I was. I went ahead and bought this. I, I, I saw a couple of these at iCast. I, I finally got one. I don't know how much this bucket is. I'm not sponsored by Tractor Supply either. Although I might as well be for all I've done for the mini Jeep. Just waiting for a new one of those in the mail sometime, hint, hint. Hint, hint, if you're watching this, Tractor Supply. Which you're not. Anyway, this was probably, I don't know, like three bucks. And then this was 40. And then it was $9 shipping. So basically it was 50 bucks. It was 50 bucks. It's a $50 bucket. But hold on, I got I got something better. Not sure if you guys can see that, but this is called a thrash can bucket topper. This is completely separate from Yeti. I'm also not sponsored by them, but you kind of just slip it on over the bucket. And it's kind of a pain. You see that? You see how it just keeps popping off? Kind of a pain but that's how you know it's that's how you know it's good because you gotta like give it a couple tries yeah so there's there's the bucket topper it kind of just goes on over that and then it's it's like for either if you got bait fish or uh, trash i don't know hold on let's find some trash we got this uh wrapper for a battery charger off of amazon which sucks by the way don't buy one of these so you kind of just stick it in there and then now can't come out but you can grab your trash out through the little thing and now you can you know like you can go ahead and litter that's your thing which I don't recommend but you know this review isn't about the net so let's get that off of there number one thing I noticed about the Yeti bucket it's a lot thicker than a conventional bucket I'm actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the caliper out. Hold on. So you have the ultimate in precision, a Pittsburgh caliper here. Let's see, what we got on the measure it on the inside lip here because uh, all these buckets kind of have a beveled lip, so not really going off of that. Going for the real thickness. All right, we're pulling 1.6 millimeters off the normal bucket. Uh, let's measure the Yeti. It's definitely going to be thicker, that's for sure. Oh, wow. Wow. 4.0 on the dot. So that's about two and a half times as thick. That's actually pretty good. That's better than I thought. I will say on the Yeti, the best part is probably the handle. This is way better because uh, if you got like really soft, girlish hands, you can just grab onto this really nice handle here and it's really form fitting to your hands especially if you're like maybe a, a hairdresser or an exotic dancer or you're, you, you test lotions as your hobby your Jeremy fragrance maybe if you know who that is probably probably don't and then you know these just kind of have that wire and I don't like the wire and then you know these little white things always break and crack off in the sun so one thing I would like to test is which one holds more because Yeti's just slightly taller but they both claim to be five gallon buckets so which one holds more? Do they hold the same? Let's find out. So I have a very extreme and accurate test going on right now. Uh, there's a garden hose in this five gallon bucket. I'm gonna wait till it gets full to the top and then I'm gonna pour it into the Yeti and see how far we are from the top or maybe it'll overflow. Looks like we're there. That is five gallons, five gallons of water on the dot. You can't say I did anything to mess with it because it overflowed right there on camera. Five gallons. Oh. I know we lost a little bit on that splash there, but you guys got to see this. That's still about an inch from the top. So I'm going to fill this the rest of the way and then try and pour it in that bucket and see if it overflows. Time to pour the Yeti. See what we get. Oh. Splashed about the same. I'm going to, I'm going to let it ride. Oh, uh-oh. We have an overflow, even with the splash. So the way I see it, there's one of two possibilities here. 
either the regular buckets have a conspiracy where they actually short you on five gallons of carrying capacity or the Yeti bucket just carries more than five gallons. I'll let you be the judge of that. I don't want to get demonetized by a big bucket. So I would also like to note that there is some flex in this bucket with this amount of water in it, whereas the Yeti had none. All right, guys, let's get down to business and the numbers. Is it worth the money? Honestly, I think it might be worth the money. Here's why. The steez factor is off the charts. There's quite a bit of accessibility, accessory ability for it, you know? I'm not sure if that's a word. And it's just, it's, it's, it's a nice bucket. It's like everything you wish a five gallon bucket was. It's like you didn't, it's a solution to a problem that nobody had or asked for, but it's great. Honestly, I mean, yeah, I'd buy another one. Uh, it's got this non-slip, that's kind of why I bought it. Cause I don't want a regular bucket sliding all around on the floor of my boat. I bought it for this boat to go fishing with. Um, I mean, if you get really lucky, somebody will give it to you. Like if you're into fishing tournaments or, you know, a uh, wild turkey federation or something like that, sometimes we'll just give them out, raffle them off, whatever. I know it's a bit of a shorter video today. I just got this, it's a new toy. So I had to do a review on it because uh, review videos seem to do well on my channel. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more stuff regarding outdoors, cars, trucks, boats, jeeps, whatever, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, we recently crossed over the 2,000 subscriber mark. That's pretty cool. I'd like to continue to grow this channel. So thanks for watching this episode of McGee's Garage, guys. And uh, I know McGee's Garage, you know, it's not a motive channel, but the garage holds everything. So see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to watch whatever pinned video I put up here. Uh, you'll probably enjoy it. And uh, see you guys in the next video.